is up guys good morning and welcome back to the channel i guess exciting video for you guys we are here at my good friends jdm of california picking up something special for the giveaway 350z if you guys don't know what jdm california is i'm gonna go ahead and link their instagram on the screen as well as their website down in the description box below so you can check it out but this is literally the jdm heaven of engines if you guys need any engine swap or any replacement engine jdm of california is your place as you can see there's tons of rb26s tons of 2j's with transmissions everything that you could want is in this place it's super super cool we're just waiting for our engine to get all squared away and then we can load it up and show you guys exactly what's going down today is the day that we hopefully, hopefully, and you know what? Today is the day that we are gonna get this car started up and good to go for you guys. If you guys didn't see the last episode, we went ahead and pulled out the stock DE engine because we had a lot of issues with this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that video on the screen so you guys can go check that out if you guys wanna see exactly why we swapped the engine. And now we have a very nice and clean engine bay thanks to Tim. I'm gonna go and swap over to a little Tim cam of some extra work that he did this weekend for you guys. He went ahead and pressure washed this engine bay to make sure it was spotless for you guys, especially for the new engine. So let's go over to the Tim cam. He also did the wiring harness for the new engine. Everything is done for the day. Um, I got the wire harness on and I'm, I'm excited about it. So I'm just gonna finish cleaning up here and head home for the day. Um, I'll see y'all Monday. So we did do another D engine. I wish we did have a little bit more time to do some kind of crazy swap like an RB or a 2J or something like that. We did go ahead and grab you guys another DE from our good friends over at JDM of California. So for the new engine that we got you guys, they estimated this engine right around 60,000 miles. So that's almost half of the life that the previous engine had. A little bit less than half the life. Yeah. So this thing is right around 60,000 miles. We looked it over. This thing looks super, super clean. I'm very, very happy with how nice this engine looks and you guys will be getting a new clutch as well today so huge thank you to act for helping us out with the new clutch we're gonna give you guys a new clutch and a new flywheel with this thing so really quickly though a lot of you guys were asking us why didn't we just go ahead and hr swap this for those of you that don't know to do an hr swap in a car that's already equipped with a de 
it's insanely, insanely difficult and extremely expensive. Tim was saying it's just better to do like an LS it's swap. It's cheaper to do an LS swap. It's insane. You have to do a new ECU, a complete wiring harness of the entire car. It's just, it's a nightmare and not worth it. But this guy is gonna be perfect for you. I'm super happy that we're able to do something that's still stock on the car, so it's gonna be very reliable for you guys, and it's a lot newer. And we were able to actually clean up the engine bay and give you guys a new clutch as well. So this thing is gonna be freaking awesome and perfectly set up for you guys. So now, I guess our mission is to install the clutch, install the flywheel, let's get this thing in the car. Ooh, ooh. Damn, son, we should unbox this. We got a Legends logo on it. Dang, so for the flywheel, ACT always hooks us up with something a little bit special. We do have the Legends Media logo on the flywheel. You guys will never ever be able to see it, I mean, unless you obviously take it out, but it's just something so cool to have in the car. It's like a little Easter egg, a little Legends Media logo in there for you guys. So this is our flywheel. We're gonna go ahead and throw this guy on and then we'll do the clutch. Flywheel is on and everything is torqued. Now we can check out the clutch. Oops. Here we have the actual clutch going in. This is one of their Street Series clutches, so it's gonna be a lot easier to drive on. It's not gonna tire you out when you're driving on the street or anything. It's not gonna be super aggressive, which is gonna be really nice for you guys that just wanna daily drive this car. So we're gonna throw this guy in, and then we have, uh, of course, pressure plate, which also has a Legends logo on there. It's super, super nice. I am so hyped about this. All right, let's go ahead and finish this thing. Quick update here. Just wanted to show you that me and Tim have got the engine in, got pretty much everything connected as far as the ECU goes, the radiator, the trans is all connected, everything is good to go. Tim is gonna go ahead and go inside the car, connect the ECU to the interior, and then, I mean, besides us putting all new fluids in, I think we're done with the engine swap. We kind of skipped all the boring parts for you guys, all the, uh, the pain, the sweat, the tears. Lots of pain. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. But the new JDM California JDM DE engine is in the car now, and I'm so stoked. So we're gonna go ahead and do all the fluids. We're gonna do some oil, power steering fluid, radiator fluid, and the ECU, and we can do the first start. Praying to the car guides. It goes well on the first try. So coolant and power steering fluid have all been replaced. Tim went ahead and pulled the fuel pump fuse so that we can prime the car, make sure the engine gets its oil and everything goes smoothly and we can officially do the first start in this thing. Here we go guys. So basically I just like let it crank for a minute. Look at the stars, that's so sick. Did you look up? <laughs> I looked up, I was like wait, what? <laughs> oh the interior is so cool. All right, here we go. That's not good. All right, Tim, bro, on a scale from one to 10, what are the odds that this thing is gonna start? 10. 10? Oh. You ready? Just do it. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. Nope. <laughs> Third time's a charm. 2,000 years later. I'm not gonna roast you. I'm not gonna roast you. Listen, I'm, this gonna, is... roast, I'm gonna roast myself. Turn the camera around. <laughs> okay, we had all this, it's been, what, 
four hours? Longer than four hours. Well, it's been three hours since we figured that it wasn't started. Okay. okay. I forgot to connect the positive. Me and Tim, okay. Not the you, positive, you, like, terminal, but positive to the, the starter. You guys saw that we, we tried to crank the car three separate times, and it wasn't cranking over. So we literally took the, took the starter out, went to O'Reilly's, bought a new starter, came back here, installed the new starter, didn't work, went back to O'Reilly's, had both of them tested, they were both good, so we came back here and we're like, well, we're defeated, this is it. And then Tim double, or no, this is, I think, uh, ac according to him, this is his quadruple, quadru fourth time checking all of the wiring, and he realizes that he didn't connect the direct power to yeah. the terminal Michael, on the battery. Y'all can roast me in the comments. <laughs> F in the chat. It's been a long, long three days, guys, okay? Just put an F in the chat for Tim. <laughs> you know, the, you know. I for all my Twitch bros, awesome. we need a vibe check in the chat. Okay, all right, now we're gonna pretend like this is the first start. All right, engine swap complete. Just go over and crank it. Positive terminal on the battery. Well, it's a positive for the starter. Everything else was working. S the stars are working, stars are aligning. Here we go. Let's do it. 